Now, medical experts are sounding the alarm as the waterborne disease cholera is spreading in Africa and other parts of the world. More than 500 people have died in a cholera epidemic that is sweeping across the Democratic Republic of Congo. The World Health Organization says the epidemic has spread to at least 20 of Congo's 26 provinces. Observers say outbreaks of the disease occur regularly in Congo, mainly due to poor sanitation and a lack of access to clean drinking water. But this year's epidemic has already hit at least 10 urban areas, including the capital, Kinshasa. About 1.4 million people have been displaced by violence in the central Kasai region. Meanwhile, the United Nations says efforts to contain a cholera outbreak in northeast Nigeria are being hampered by the lack of a referral system to identify new cases. The UN says the outbreak has struck more than 1,000 people housed in camps for those who fled Boko Haram. UNICEF and other partners are assisting health officials in the northeastern state of Bornu to contain the outbreak. That region is at the epicenter of the Islamist militant insurgency and the disease outbreak. They administered drip to me. The vomiting and diarrhea stopped and I got better. Cholera is an acute diarrheal infection spread by contaminated food and water. It can be easily treated with oral rehydration solution if it is caught early, but it can also kill within hours if left untreated. This most recent outbreak began in late August and aid workers had already warned that Nigeria's rainy season could spread disease in displacement camps that were already unsanitary. The main problem that we have been having uh, is the fact that, you know, when the people are sick, uh, although we are spreading messages, uh, when the people are sick, I mean, they, they, they don't proactively report you know, to, to the clinics. They don't proactively engage with humanitarian partners. So we have to do what we call active case finding, mm -hmm. means that we have to go uh, to find them in their houses. UNICEF says more than 20,000 people have been killed in Nigeria's conflict with Boko Haram. At least 2.2 million have been displaced. Cholera is also spreading in other parts of the world. In the wake of the 2016's Hurricane Matthew, the affected parts of Haiti experienced a 50% increase in cholera cases due to a lack of clean drinking water. Medical officials are now concerned that cases of cholera will increase in the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. In Yemen, cholera has infected at least 612,000 people and killed over 2,000 since it began in April. Observers say the epidemic has exacerbated the already dire humanitarian situation in the war-ravaged country. Um, Yemen has become the largest humanitarian crisis in the world as a result of combination of conflict, cholera and food insecurity. The Red Cross warns that cholera could impact 850,000 people in Yemen by the end of the year. And that's our health report for today. To stay in touch, find me on Twitter at Lenore Moudou. Back to you, Vincent.